J.J. Snyder, and you're watching the Red Carpet Report. I'm at the season two finale for Pretty the Series in Hollywood, and this is Kathy Griffin. Okay, this is my friend, Judy. She plays Regina Sampson. Hello, hello, hello. Darling, are you pregnant again? Yes. Only on the show, not the real life. I'm sorry to say that's not the real life. But the show got stopped, like, how close is it? I have two kids, and I don't need to know Right, so are we going to find out who the father of the new child is on the show? We are going to have to talk to Steve because Steve is having it. You have to kill him about the nine months, and I'm still not sure who the father is yet. I do have to wait till it's season three to find out. And I did notice, I think you stopped smoking since Steve got pregnant, didn't you? You know, the main thing about that was the actual of the real life. I'm going to go back to you. Steve got the kill of the very same moon. But I stopped smoking five years ago, so he said, well, please, just smoke, and I'm like, that is dedication. Starting to smoke again for your role. They make me smell those old cigarettes, which are so sick. They are horrible. The first thing I'm going to ask is to close the demonstration. So I passed the mother while you were doing too. No, I didn't do it. This is what I'm going to do it too. All right. Are you addicted again? Seriously, because how can you? Herbal cigarettes, I'm addicted to herbal cigarettes. Not the enough to make all of not the Marlboro Lights, which is what I used to smoke here. I like the herbal ones. Yeah. Just don't go back to Marlboro Lights. You have it all the way. Well, girl, I don't know because every time I smell it, I want it. So, you know, it's just like alcohol. You never start wanting to eat it. All that when it's been addicted. So, what did you do here? Caffeine. They want to have a lot of my addictions, except caffeine. Sugar. You know, I. I only have, I, I probably have two or three. So, not too bad. In the morning, you have no, all, I mean, com- combined. But it's not so much a quantity thing, it's sort of like, give me my coffee or I will drink. This is really up there, so I have like a three in the morning and three in the afternoon. Ooh, the baby, you forget it. I started when I was in the Marine Corps. Ooh, uh, yes, I was a Marine. Thank you. That's right, while y'all was at the mall, I was like saving a damn country. Thank you. Yes, I was in the Marine Corps, so give me a minute. Thank you. Yes. This is not a time to do a service for me. It's just a time. 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 I think a year ago, I'm currently doing the drills. I think this is not exactly my speed. I'm going to rock. So for my friends, my first job, I want to go to the mall. So you know I'm in California. We get all dressed up and go to the mall. I got dressed up for two hours. They took me to a Piggly Wiggly, a strip mall, the Piggly Wiggly and the Sears. That's not a mall. That's not a damn mall. And I said, you guys, I want like a mall with like, you know, you can pick your store, so. What in the set? It was me, yeah. Then I got stuck in Oakland, California, and they spent the next four years, five years in Japan. I stayed over there at the, uh, at the end of the station. And then I got out of the Marine Corps, I married a Marine. I went back to Japan and I worked for the Central Japanese radio station for three years. I was the only American, the only black. They used to come up to me and do this. Like, it don't roll off. Well, how did you find the Japanese? Well, you know what? I, um, I like being here because you know, everything is going to be a very American culture. They are very polite, they mind their own business. Uh, we lived out in town, and I never had to buy a cold seat or a medicine because my women who owned our house were farmers, and they just had a house with all this stuff in the freezer and refrigerator, so I kind of got used to it. I love the day. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is it. This is fabulous for me. All right, actually, so tell us what else is going on. This series has been uh, a great story for the industry. Yes, yes, it has. Did you watch this? That no, not really. Well, Steve told me, well, um, I think one of the characters were based on him. So he pulled from, I guess we knew about him, which I don't understand at the time. I mean, I don't want to smoke anymore, and I'm really at a class, so I don't know what the fuck it is with that. Still offended by that shit. Yeah, yeah where's the get it? Yeah, based on that crap on me. Let's move over, baby. Okay, so it's important that you have a family. We're going to do this now. We're going to be going okay. into the next okay. episode. You're going to do it. You look at how you did it, though. Thank you. How about you? All right, you can't see mine. Yeah. What, were talking, what were we talking about? Go off again. What were we talking about? Oh, you did not just think it was broke. No, he said that he based the character of being on me. And, you know, it was a bit cool for me because I'm very shy, very sweet, very polite, very nice. So, 
Yes, it has been a chore for me to try to make a stop for you. Did you believe that? Wait till the other day. Well, what did I say? I did a couple of things I'm doing. I did a couple of things. My daughter, we got a nasty home. We got my family. We bought my family. We did a job. 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 Uh, this is our part, and they're not absolutely right. So, you know, we, a lot of them were like, if they get sick or something like that, you can always afford to go to the doctor to figure it out. So, that's just so expensive. I like to work with them. If one has crawled over a needle one, so we can't make the chicken to the bed. She took it out, charged us $250 a day to buy it and said, thank you. So, over the years, I became sort of a thief, but she had so many fucking comments in her head. So, in two weeks, I was filming stuff that I had to and it is, uh, there's a bunch of things that And it's me and my daughter after we talk about stuff that, I mean, I think we used to make them a year ago, but we tell me stuff like, um, uh, something about like the spiritual emotion, like in the middle of that, and it looks like a bit. I can just mess around with me, but now I can share with you guys, because I got all this stuff in my head, and I just want to kind of get rid of it. So, where can people see it? I'm going to put it on the internet, uh, and probably in about two weeks, we're going to get what home we're going to do it, but yeah. You know, it's committed to the festival, but mostly, probably, hopefully, places like maybe Blip TV or Battle Dog are places people are trying to get up to. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm excited about that, girl. Yeah. You can get back to the point. Thank you. Good morning. And you're okay. You're going to be on that because you're going to have Ellen McKay. You're going to be on that thing? I think I should be there. You can't just sit on the street because she knows what I'm talking about. You can be on that. I'm doing that part. You can play about it. Another bitch that we're writing, we're writing, not yet. You're my ex, you're my husband. You can be like, I'm not one. I'm not the one. I could not be the one. I'm not 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 the one. i am not you know, so we can use that? No, actually, I, I'm from a long time. Is it warm there sometimes? It's so fun there, and they're like, too much money. Yeah. Um, so it's a beautiful place. But don't tell anyone, because they're going to lose it, right? It's been such a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Congratulations tonight. Thank you.